I mean, you're killing this style. I was just, I was just saying, this is the black carpet. I don't know if it's the respect, you know, opening or if it's actually like a style awards because everybody's bringing their fire game tonight. So, <laughs> listen, right? Everybody's like, let's get dressed up, right? Let's get dressed up. Uh, so I understand that Aretha started your career. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. So I, um, I met her at the Thelonious Monk piano competition. I was a competitor, and she asked to meet me after the semifinals, and uh, said that I was her favorite to win. And then a week later, after the competition, she gave me a call and and gave me some career advice and told me my manager should be her her publicist. And and that manager actually found me my first film scoring gigs and really kind of got me out there in the beginning. And then over the course of the years that I worked with her and knew her, she had me play for Christmas parties and birthday parties and, and gave me a lot of advice over the years. And so, um, yeah, she had a pretty big impact on me for sure. Well, you composed the music for the film. I would imagine that that's not only exciting, but also a little nerve wracking. I mean, there's a lot of pressure with that. So how did you prepare yourself to like come in here and take this on head on and just do your thing? I think it was about being open, really, just kind of like receiving the story and, and how much of it, you know, the score really is playing a lot of her internal difficulties and struggle and a lot of the trauma and all of that and so I feel like it was just kind of looking at that and trying to see if I can find any sort of music that could help bring the same feelings that I maybe could even imagine she was feeling in those moments and so really just trying to be um, open to that and oftentimes I see I feel like if the film is already making me feel something then you know if I add my music to it and I don't feel the same thing then it's my music that's the problem so <laughs> it's really just trying to capture the same feeling that we're getting from the beautiful performances and the and the story yeah with you having a personal relationship with Aretha what is something that we didn't know just by seeing a video or just listening to music that you could tell us about her uh, you know I think uh, just how much of um, how much she handled her own business herself. I think it was so wild to me that like, she took my number and then she called me and she was always the one that would email me or call me or text me. I never got, you know, it was rare that I heard from an assistant or like a manager or anything like that. And the times that I played performances for her, like she paid me herself. Like it was always like she did things very directly. And I feel like for her to be doing that all of those years just showed how much she just was um, just a, a powerhouse. Yeah. What's your go-to Aretha Franklin song? Oh man, I don't know. I mean, respect really just still gets me in my in my whole soul. I feel like I was so lucky to like listen to him making the music for this because I got to listen to so much of her music in the house and some things that I didn't even know of. Um, yeah, I mean, she's pretty legendary, and it was such an honor. I was kind of sad that I met him, and after after Aretha had left us, you know, I mean, what a gift to have gotten that kind of presence in your life. You know, what about you? Um, I think the the whole Amazing Grace album, and specifically like Spirit in, Spirit in the Dark, I feel like there's something that you know you just feel the church and all of that, but it just feels like um, it's interesting seeing this story and how much she was really coming back to church and faith and all that in that performance and I feel like you can really hear that and I didn't really know that context when I first found that album or, or was um, you know gifted that album from a, a teacher of mine but that that album and Spirit in the Dark in specific I think is something that always still gets me yeah